for dividing integers, and the good news is we already know what to do because dividing integers is just like multiplying integers. So we're going to start off with the note. Note. Dividing integers uses the same rules as multiplying integers. I don't know if that's correct English or not, but that's the way I wanted to say it. We use the same rules for dividing integers as we do for multiplying integers. Let's review those. What is a negative times a negative? A positive. What is a negative times a positive? A negative. If I have one of each multiplied together, it's going to be a negative. So let's get right to some examples. You're going to be asked to find the quotient. Okay, we don't have to spend forever on this, but we do need to do a few of them to make sure we know what's going on. Let's say that I have negative 36 divided by negative 6. Well, you always want to take care of your sign first. I have a negative divided by a negative, which is a positive what? In this case, it's going to be a positive 6. 36 divided by 6 is 6. We're, we're still working without a calculator for right now. Number 2, how about 27 divided by negative 9? Well, now we have a positive divided by a negative, so my answer is going to be a negative what? 3. three. Okay. Number 3. Why don't you try this one on your own? Negative 42 divided by 7. Do that one on your own. It's your, uh, on your paper. See if you get the right answer. Well, in this case, we have a negative divided by a positive. So my answer is going to be a negative, and it's going to be negative 6. All right. Um, how about 0 divided by negative 5? Well, 0 divided by any number is 0. Not negative 0, just 0. There's no such thing as negative 0. Let's do one more of those. How about negative 210 divided by negative 15? Well, I told you that we're still not using calculators, um, but that's because we know how to do this problem. First off, let's take care of my sign. Is this positive or negative? Positive. It's going to be a positive. I like to just put a little plus over there just so I know that my answer is going to be positive. I can't do this division in my head. So which number goes inside the division box? 210. And then 15 goes here. So now I ask, how many times will 15 go into 2? And it won't. So then I ask, how many 15s are in 21? 1. So I put a 1 up here. 1 times 15 is 15. And I subtract. 21 minus 15 is 6. I bring down my 0. Now I ask, how many 15s are in 60. And it is 4. And if you're not sure, just come over here and try it. 4 times 15 is 60. So I put the 60 there, I subtract, and I get 0. My answer, is it positive or negative 14? Positive 14. So you will have some that you have to go back and do some long division on. Not that many, but there will be a few of them. Now, next thing, they're going to ask you to find the mean. Now, I told you we've been restructuring things here in Integrated Algebra 1 because of the park assessment that's coming up. Normally, I would have already covered this, but I know you've already done this in junior high. Let's review how you find the mean. Isn't mean another word for average? Okay. How do you find the average? There's two steps. What's the first one? 
add up all the numbers, okay? So add all the numbers. That's step one. Then you divide, good. The step two is to divide by how many, uh, we can just say how many numbers I have. Okay, add all the numbers and then divide by how many numbers I have. So the difference now is we're going to have some integers we're finding the average of. So let's do one of these. Let's say they give you a list of numbers like this. Negative 8, 5, negative 14, 10, and negative 3. So the first thing I have to do, the first thing we said we need to do is add all the numbers. So don't do this all in your head and get it wrong. The first thing I do is negative 8 plus 5. What's negative 8 plus 5? Um, negative 3. What's negative 3 plus negative 14? Negative 17. Don't get ahead of yourself. One little mistake can mess up the whole problem on this. Now I need to add 10. Negative 17 plus 10 is what? <coughs> Negative 7. And now I need to add negative 3. Negative 7 plus negative 3 is negative 10. Negative 10. That's not my answer. We're finding an average. So to find the average, now I need to divide this by what? 5. So negative 10 divided by 5 is negative Two, make sure you get your sign correct. So you'll have some problems tonight where you have to find the mean. Now, you're also going to have some problems where they ask you to simplify. And these problems, we have to follow order of operations. All right, we have to be very cautious and not get in a hurry on these problems. Negative 12 minus a negative 4 times 3. Now a lot of people, remember how we talked about snake eyes when you see those two negatives side by side? A lot of people mess up this problem because they see these two negatives and they think, oh, I need to do negative 12 plus 4. Wrong. Order of operations, do you remember what order of operations are? PEMDAS, parentheses, exponents, then what's next? I need to do this first. What's negative 4 times 3? Negative 12. Negative 12. Now, what do I do with the rest of the problem? I just bring it down. Negative 12 minus this negative 12. And now I do have snake eyes. Okay, so now I have negative 12 plus 12, which is zero. By the way, if you would have tried to do it the other way, if you would have done negative 12 plus 4 first, isn't that negative 8? Negative 8 times 3 is negative 24. Negative 24 is wrong. Okay, you, there's, you have to follow order of operations or you will get the wrong answer. All right, let's do another one of these. 28 minus 4 divided by 2 plus negative 5. So what am I going to do first in this problem? Order of operation says I multiply and divide before I add and subtract, so I need to do this. 4 divided by 2 is what? 2. So now I have 28 minus 2 plus negative 5. And now that I have all addition and subtraction, I can just work in order left to right. 28 
28 minus 2 is 26. So I have 26 plus negative 5, which is 21. We only have one more problem that we need to go over, and that's a problem where we have to evaluate We've seen these problems before. It's where we have to plug in numbers, evaluate when A equals negative 8, B equals 4, and C equals negative 2. So they're going to give you something like this. They're going to give you an expression like 48 over a plus 2. So we're going to replace the A with the number that they told us. They said that A is negative 8. Remember on these problems it's important to write out the problem first on your paper. So we have 48 over negative 8 plus 2. So what's negative 8 plus 2? So now let's rewrite it again. 48 over negative 6. What does that fraction bar mean? It means division. So what is 48 divided by negative 6? It's negative 8. And we will stop there for today.